Hi guys, this is Thunder E from Board at Work and welcome to another battle vid. And today's battle vid is between the LG G3 and the Nokia Lumia 930. Now this is a bit of an oranges to apples type battle vid, but we want to see how both devices stack up against each other. So let's jump in. <music> So let's take a look at both devices to find out the differences in hardware as well as hardware similarities. Starting with the LG G3, LG's new flagship uh, smartphone, you've got this nice curved design. You can see how it looks, fits very good in the hands. In the front, you've got that 5.5 inch QHD display. What that means in English is that it's four times 720p resolution. So this thing is sharp, it is vibrant, uh, it looks looks great. Uh, this is running Android 4.4 with LG's own UI, which is very smooth and super fast. And how is that possible? Because you have a Snapdragon 801 processor and also you have uh, either two or 32, uh, two or three gigabytes of RAM with either 16 or 32 gigabytes of storage. That's the pairing between the RAM and storage for this device. Now you can expand that storage, of course, with a micro SD card, with the which you can access through the removable back cover. You've also got a micro SD card slot here and you can remove the battery. This can take, as according to LG, up to two terabytes of storage, expandable. All we have is 128 max now, so it will cover up to 128 at least, um, and then theoretically two terabytes. Now the back, you do have those um, now standard home and volume rockers uh, for the LG G3. Usually it's on the side for most devices, but LG loves it right here. It says that's the best way to use it. You've got a 13 megapixel camera. You've also got a laser flash and um, dual, la sorry, laser focus and dual LED flash. Laser focus help you take faster, sharper pictures. Vol um, speakers there's at the bottom. And of course you have a two megapixel front facing camera. That is the LG G3. Now its competitor here in this battle is the Nokia Lumia 930. This is Nokia's uh, latest device. Um, it's got that very rectangular, but soft uh, rounded corners, if you will. The uh, Lumia 930 here spots a five inch display, 1080p display. Um, and this is a very vibrant, clear black display. You can see how basically black really looks solid on this device. Two megapixel front facing camera running Windows Phone 8.1, which is fast and smooth. OS has always been fast, but this is powered by Snapdragon 800 processor with two gigs of RAM. Now internal storage here is 32 gigabytes, which you cannot access or expand uh, the, st uh, the expandable storage or battery because it's a sealed device. There is no expandable storage uh, on here. Uh, as you can see, the only um, port to open is your micro SIM. And then you also do have a 20 megapixel camera with dual LED flash with built-in OIS. This uh, device also sports four or basically quad mics. So you've got one, two mics here at the back, and then you've got basically the same location, two mics in the front to give you the best sound recording possible according to Microsoft. So that is the Lumia 930 and this is the LG G3. Okay, so we've taken a look at the hardware for both devices. Now the main battle here will probably focus on the camera because that's something we can definitely compare with ease and and uh, at least without comparing Android versus Windows Phone because this is not what that's what it's gonna be. This is gonna be what both of them bring to the table. And the first thing is hardware. We've taken a look at the hardware for both devices. Uh, we've seen what the LG G3 brings. We've seen what the uh, Nokia Lumia 930 brings. And in terms of hardware, I have to give the winner to the LG G3. And it's to me, it's actually just a slight edge. Design-wise, both devices are well-designed in its own different way. I actually do like the hold feel for the Nokia much better, but the LG G3 brings a couple of new things. It brings that QHD display. It also brings in a laser focus for the flash and you've got slightly newer specs with the 801 and of course three gigabytes of, uh, of RAM on this device. So in terms of hardware, I would give the slight edge to the LG G3 and that's where it stays. Now, this first video is with the Lumia 930, uh, daylight in Boston, close to the Charles River. 
and I'm going to walk around with the camera. I'm going to hold it with one hand. Basically, see how well the OIS handles. But you can see the transition from uh, at least slightly shaded area to a brighter, a brighter area. Uh, it's, it's much more consistent than what we have with um, other devices in the past. But you can see OIS kicking in, trying to keep the image intact and steady. Um, so you, the focal point of the image is steady. It's a little shaky on the edges uh, in there with, with the camera. But it does a good job in holding that as, as well as I just walk down and, and take a look at you know the different scenery around here. And I think I'm going to bank left straight towards the Charles River. Uh, we call it the Dirty Charles uh, because it was a pretty dirty river altogether but uh, you get a good idea of how this also does transition as you walk into a slightly darker area I wouldn't say darker but you know uh, less illumination or less direct sunlight into it. and it does a good job again that transition you can see is not as heavy and you can see now that the camera is is backing away from the light so it makes a lot of sense so we'll do this in the next video uh, coming up we're going to check out what LG has to offer with the LG G3 but that's also the zoom and you can see how smooth it is to zoom in and also zoom out and um, you know there's not a lot of pixelation there uh, with the zoom for the Lumia 930 so let's take a look at the LG G3 here now the G3 camera uh, also records up to 4k uh, but this is just giving you a basic look at the camera here as we pan around trying to definitely walk out with one hand and we'll see how well it stays steady as we walk um, as we go down the line so it's a little bit shaky uh, as you walk down the center uh, it's got a little shakiness to it uh, because there's no IS so you do have that feel of of, of bounciness to it all together so uh, just looking at here instead of the center image center of the image being fixed you can see the shakiness left and right of the whole camera because I'm walking and I'm holding one hand within this is what happens when of course you don't have OIS um, uh, built into the uh, to camera itself, but uh, it still does a good job in, in collecting uh, data data properly. You can see the image is pretty clear uh, and sharp. And as we cut, of course cut back to the Charles River here um, to walk in and see what we have in terms of um, the location. Uh, you can see how it transitions. It does. Uh, it doesn't do as good as the job, I'll say, as the as Nokia transitioning from light to dark. Um, but it still does a decent job at it. So you can definitely distinguish which are lighter areas and darker areas within uh, that aspect. So let's go ahead and take a look at some nighttime video from both cameras. So this is nighttime recording with the Lumia 930. Um, by my steps, you can see the illumination from the flash. Not as illuminated as you would find with most cameras. That's one thing Nokia needs to improve. But I'm walking down the steps and holding the camera. Even though it's at night, you can see um, it's not shaky. It's not that shaky because, again, OIS is kicking in. There's a car in front. Uh, and, of course, I'm going to just walk down the street here holding the camera. And what I do notice with the Lumia 930, it does have a sharper image, less grainy uh, than you find with most. It's much clearer image altogether. Again, you can see the OIS handling um, shakiness as I walk down. So that does a very good job at it. Again, the illumination from the camera, um, uh, sorry, from, the, from the flash is not as much as you expect, but still a very solid uh, nighttime video with the Lumia 930. Now let's take a look at the LG G3. Now the G3 has a, a much brighter LED flash. You can see how much, again, it just covers as I look down. You can see my toes there. Uh, but again, the flash does a much better job in giving you a, a, a brighter scope. And as we decide to embark on this walk, down the steps again it's much shakier because of lack of OIS so the camera tends to shake a bit and then um, also you can see the, the the video looks a little bit grainier with, at, at night time so um, that's just also something to note with the LG G3 it may have a better uh, a better LED flash especially for recording videos at night but the picture quality still doesn't come up as as crisp as what you had with the Lumia 930 but still does a decent job at it or I'd say more than decent job at it so it's still a good a good camera now let's take a look at some of the steals from each device um, the first image will be looking at here uh, this is from the LG G3 this is a uh, no flash uh, image so basically a low light photo of Superman there my Superman uh, keychain and uh, you can see it comes out fairly well it, it's illuminated it was a pretty um, 
poorly lit area uh good job here but now if we transition over to take a look at what nokia has with illuminate 30 you can see more illumination uh from that and you can see how much brighter uh the image actually looks um so nokia does the, the cameras are built well enough to collect more lighting which is nice now here's another image here also from um superman this is a close shot with a flash you can see how the flash it's so bright it really you can it really lights up the area but doesn't pull off focus on the image i'm trying to do put on there uh, again, this is a total darkness, so I actually took that image. You can see that that's from the Lumia 930. Um, and the 930, you can see, kind of kind of lights lights up your exact image rather than everything around, which is what the LG G3 did. Now, when we look at daytime photos uh, for both devices. The LG G3 does a solid job in daytime. You see it captures the monument. You can see the shading uh, of the shadow on, on the grass there and also the lighting and also how you can tell the 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 lighted areas from the darkly lit areas quite well in this photo as well as the nokia but the nokia does uh you can see nokia has a little tint it's not as sharp as what lg has so the lg photo in daytime has a little bit of sharpness just maybe because of that laser flash really helps it to really pick up images uh much quicker and faster so as i look at both cameras for both devices they both have very solid cameras i think uh nokia camera i think is my winner overall because of what it does in, in the full spectrum you can see the ois really helps with recording videos um does a very good job in low light situations but uh but the lg g3 is no slouch either you can see the video stills were both good um still still is a bit more shaky but i think the lumia 930 camera really steals the show here in terms of low light quality and also uh video recording quality altogether let us test out the speakers to see how well the speakers perform for both devices invites were sent i'm going but really what do we know about the galaxy note 4 So Samsung has sent out invites for the Galaxy Note 4. It's on pack to September 3rd at IFA, New York. And it's got three locations. It's a global announcement. And it means only one thing in my mind. It's the Galaxy Note 4. We've known this for a while. Samsung does this every year. And this is the launch event for the Note 4. But what are we... Invites were sent. I'm going. But really, what do we know about the Galaxy Note 4? So Samsung has sent out invites for the Galaxy Note 4. It's on pack to September 3rd at IFA, New York. And it's got three locations. It's a global announcement. And it means only one thing in my mind. It's the Galaxy Note 4. We've known this for a while. Samsung does this every year. And this is the launch event for the Note 4. But what are we expecting from this device? So the Galaxy S5 came out earlier this year. You saw reviews. You saw we thought about in terms of the speakers, I think the LG G3 speaker is slightly louder than what Nokia provides with the Lumia 930. The 930 still is no slouch. I think the 930 speakers are a tad bit clearer, but I pretty much call it a wash with just one being slightly louder, the other one being slightly clearer there. So in the speaker level, it's pretty much an even battle. Now, when it comes to battery life, both devices have, are known for very solid battery life. The LG G3 here, if we look at what we have for battery indicator, 45% uh, discharge, I have 27 hours and 23 minutes left. That is a lot. So basically, um, at least I, if you double that, I'm pretty much doing 50, 54 hours for that device, uh, which is more than two days. Now, the uh, Lumia 930, um, I've used 23 hours. I have nine hours left at 26%. So with that calculation there, I'm pretty much at 32 hours. So the G3 has a bigger battery, so you're going to expect better battery life. And I'll give that to the G3 there um, altogether. So when looking at both devices, um, um, I have to say the G3 is my winner here. Uh, why? Well, you've got a new QHD display, which is very nice. Uh, you've also got great battery life performance in there. You've got a decent camera. doesn't compare up to what the, uh, the Nokia does, but it's still uh, close enough. And, of course, you've got a huge bump in specs altogether um, um, with you know, 3 gigs of RAM, 801, so on and so forth. But overall, I think the LG G3 brings uh, 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 just, just a nice rounded package to the table compared to to Lumia 930, which stayed fairly, still do it 
did do fairly well. So if you have any questions, let me know, guys. Do like and share this video. Make, make it a favorite. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, Board at Work. Uh, top right-hand corner and bottom of your screen. Thank you very much, guys, and always enjoy your entertainment.